Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. And welcome to the newest build that I've done. <laughs> I created this during a live stream last Monday night to help the audience. We had some painting and some building to do in preparation for today's episode. And basically what this is, as you may have already guessed, is a sky base. But it's on the ground, that's not in the sky, but whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, let's close that up, check that bad boy. We're going to be using that very soon, and lift off. Actually, I want to do something. Let's see. So for some reason... Okay, that's good. Yeah, I can walk around in it while it's lifting off, but if I get in the chair, lift off, and then walk around, it kind of dumps me off. It throws me in the ground, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I had that happen to me a few times, so I had to build a rescue vehicle to come up. Actually, I think the rescue vehicle is still up. There it is. <laughs> yep. It's just chilling up there. It's It'll just be up there forever. Let's see if I can do some painting while I'm up here. Just don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Oh, stay away from the edge. So you kind of just bounce around in this perpetual state of falling. Yeah, it's all right. Why is this getting crooked? It looks like it's crooked. Doesn't look like it's flat. All right, well, we'll be up there shortly. Here we go. Speak of the devil. And we're at the skybox. We can walk around normally. There's that little thing over there. How's it going? This thing always gets wonky. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I really like the paint job. I'm considering actually, like, filling in these walls. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Or just... I don't know. I'll have to think about what I want to do. I have a couple ideas for things I want to do today. One of them being a vehicle that is capable of... Crawling around on the skybox. You can build in the skybox? What the heck? It's interesting. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, physics and stuff in this game get a little wacky once you're up here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is build a vehicle that can crawl around in the skybox. I also want to try and build an escape pod of some sort. So basically something that will just be like sitting on the floor and then you press a, go inside, press a button, and it drops you down to earth. I just think it'd be something cool to build. We're going to work on the vehicle right now. Let's see. Don't need that. Need that. Don't need that. Uh, I want the long pipe. There we go. Oh, we're going to need a wheel. I think that should about do it. I'll also need the stupid seat. There you go. All right. Well, let's head back to Earth or whatever this planet may be and get to work on it. Bye, rescue vehicle. Someday I will rescue the rescue vehicle. And then I'll get trapped up there, so someone will have to rescue the rescue rescue vehicle. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, back down to Earth. Open that up. Unfortunately, you can't build on here, because every time you try and place uh, the jack or the lift, it'll just do that. Which is kind of annoying. Let's get a little wooden platform started. We're basically going to be starting the vehicle like normal. Maybe two in front. No, we'll do three. Three in front, three in behind. The trick is to make this thing very nice well balanced uh, this is gonna be driving both upside down and regularly okay poke that up there and just the standard blocks up there works up there whizzy whizz wham wham wazzle there we go basic vehicle design the trick here is the seat doesn't go up there that's just so f that was just for placement the real seat goes down here I want it that way there you go. That's going to control these guys right there. Hook up the engine. There. There. Nope. I said there. 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 And there. Power it up a little bit. Make sure they're all going the right way, which I always seem to forget to do, but there we go. And there we are. Uh, those, are those are going the wrong way. It's always the wrong way. I don't understand that. There we go. We got that basic design done. But now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're basically just going to flip it over. Do the exact same design, but topsy-turvy. Probably not necessary to do it this much, but, or like, this far off the ground. Like, we could probably just do it, like, that high. But I think it's cool to have it look very similar to the uh, uh, way it does when it's right side up. And it makes it a little bit more fun, especially if you drive around and start flipping around and stuff. It all continues to work. Pick that up. Then we need its own engine. Power that up a little bit. Yeah, I know it's not connected to anything. Because unfortunately, engines are limited to six bearing connections in this game at this moment. So you need multiple engines if you're going to be doing more than six powered bearings. Actually, no, those ones were correct. These ones are incorrect. Because it's got to go the opposite direction. There you go. 
And now, how are we going to seek the seal? And that is the next major hurdle to cross. Hurdle to cross? Doesn't make sense. Hurdle to go over, I guess? I don't know. Words. I'm not a poet. I'm just some guy who pretends to build things. Not pretends. I actually build things, but not necessarily super ingenious or creative. Just things that I think would be funny or cool or stupid. You know what I mean. And fire! There you go. <laughs> and we can do some reaction steering, right? Oh, no, it's not going to work. Because we're going the opposite way. Anyway, there we go. We got our little skybox rover all set up. Let's actually turn up these engines. Because it's performing a little slow. Pump that up a little bit. And we'll bring it on board. Come on. Uh, uh. There you go, beautiful. Okay, plop that right there. We'll close up shop here. And head on over to the skybox. Hopefully it doesn't cause me to tip too much, which it already is. <laughs> Gotta get to the skybox, hopefully it'll flatten everything out. For, oh, it's dipping, it's dipping. Don't you do it. No. Stop it. Oh man, <laughs> it's dipping pretty hard. Okay. Skybox, any day now. Please. Please. Uh, it's gonna start like rolling. There we go. Okay. Little hop to it. And we're good to go. So let's bring this over here. Actually, we probably have to open it now. Let's open that back up. Turn it around. And testing in three, two, one. <gasps> There we go. Oh, that engine could be powered up a little more. And stop it. Let's power up the front engine a little bit, but that seemed to have worked. Cool. It worked again. Because we did build a prototype of this during my live stream over at twitch.tv slash ctap2424. The link is in the description below. If you're interested in following, people always ask that. I'm like, just look in the description, man. Stuff's always in the description. Look at that. It's kind of working. We're even getting the ground effects up here. So apparently those do come from the wheels, not necessarily- Oh no, that wouldn't make sense if they came from the wheels. So just contact with any sort of surface in this game, because technically, the skybox is a surface. It even feels bumpy, just like the surface in this flat world, so... It's kicking up these textures, the smoke and the leaves and stuff. Pretty wacky. Pretty silly looking, if you ask me. But it's pretty cool. I just used the word pretty like eight times in that sentence, look at me go. I have a pretty good vocabulary. But now we gotta paint it. I think it needs a nice little paint job. I'm thinking white would look good. Just a nice white all over. Oh. Okay, stop it. Stop it. There you go. Okay, let's just close that because it's making me nervous. And pull out the paint tool. Boop. And it's already on white. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm just thinking white. It'll just look like a cloud just gingerly floating up here in the sky. Or something along those lines. Something a little bit more poetic, maybe. Okay, almost done. Not the not the best uh, paint job. <laughs> I guess I'm not really focusing too much on even coding and the likes. Okay, see now here's a problem. I can't. I keep wanting to put the lift, but I can't. There we go. I keep forgetting that works. I can just hop up there. Cool. Ah, I missed that. Stupid go fantastic okay Woo, that is pretty nice oh, I missed the more God bless it college you willy cruise okay it looks like a cloud to me I don't know about you it looks like a cloud to me so eventually we'll probably have a garage up here just for different vehicle types and stuff I, pl I plan on expanding this relatively large pretty much as big as the game will let me and I kind of want to enclose these hallways. Like, these will lead over. There'll be other rooms over there. And over there. The only thing is you have to keep things nice and balanced if you want them. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, Wanderbot's messaging me. Wander, I'm recording. You see me playing Scrap Mechanic? Come on, man. Okay. So that's basically what I wanted to do today. Let's think. What else do I want to get done? Let's see how this looks if I actually enclose all this. Hopefully the waste, weight distribution doesn't... Start freaking out. We'll have to do the opposite walls of each other. Okay, so we'll run over there. Close these off. I think it'd be nice to have a little mix of closed off spaces and open spaces. And we're back to- Ah, oh, dang it. 
We're doing that. <laughs> Gotta open this because there's no real way to get in. Always have to remember to do this. That lift. Go over. Hit the button. There we go. Now I can actually walk in and out. Uh, I kind of want to workshop some different ideas I've been having for the escape pod that I want to add to this. So we'll just do like a very basic kind of design here. Okay, fine. We'll just do like that. It's very rudimentary. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. Just kind of making it up as I go. But you'll, you'll see what I mean uh, once we get to it. It would be cool to have some sort of flying vehicle on here. Uh, but I'm just not great at building those at this point. Uh, but basically, we'll have... Just like that. That. Uh, like that. That. And we'll have wood there. Wood there. Maybe like a space in between. Okay. That technically should be good. And then we'll raise this up. Okay, yeah, that should work. Okay, and now if we remove that... This should be floating on top of those. So if we take a controller and a button, put those like right there. Make sure you want the button to be visible. There you go. Hook those up. I probably should have tested this before I built it, huh? I guess it really doesn't matter which way they go. I just need them all to go 90 degrees upon activation. And they should move out of the way. So imagine you're like, oh no, we need to escape. We're going over to the escape pod. We hop in it. It's, it's a bigger structure. Everything's a bigger scale. Open it up. Ah, oh, it didn't work. No! Oh! <laughs> Did not work at all. Okay. <laughs> Gotta find a way to reset it. Okay. Go. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Just the friction. Okay, so that's something I'm going to have to figure out. See, these are the things I prefer to do during a stream where we can just, like, workshop it together. Oh, I, I, I know. Okay, check this out. So if we put it there. Drop it. And if we had it go up a little bit. Okay, so something to hold in place. Okay, so that might work. Huh. Interesting. Okay. We'll just tear all this out. This is probably something I'll workshop more in the future. Come here. Just tear it all out. I don't want to leave too many empty blocks just kind of floating around this area because that will cause lag and all that nonsense. But not too much this episode, guys. We did build this car, so that was pretty sweet. Just wanted to share with the sky base. If you have any ideas on things to build, uh, things to do with the sky base specifically, I'm super interested. I was thinking about doing this escape pod, maybe some some uh, like item cannons, so we can just like shoot things off from up there. Uh, I'm gonna be building like a vehicle bay and a garage, a kind of big open doors, basically make this as large as the game will allow me to, which I hope is relatively large. I've seen people do some large builds, but once you get up to the sky boxes, everything kind of freaks out and the physics start behaving oddly. So we'll see exactly how much we can do in this game, but I'm excited to see more. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy, leave a comment if you have any ideas, and I will see you next time for some more scrap mechanic. Come on, tear those up. There you go. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.